if you loved humanity more than anyone has ever loved anyone, and you wanted them to come to God, and you saw that they were losing their souls, and you had the truth to convey, and the words have been scrambled in a way that makes it hard to express it. No words express what you're really trying to say, but they start to. Would you not start to yell to try to add spirit and passion and heart to those words? So in part one and two, as this is the intro, at points I do that. So be prepared to turn down your volume if you have to. I implore you, I urge you, it behooves you to hear me out, especially when I yell. Turn down your volume if you have to. When you make love to each other, you're supposed to pour out your hearts. And your heart is something you cultivate. It's a cycle like the sun. The sun, the heart, the bread of heaven. Bread is the symbol of heart. Egypt, martial arts, heart. Okay, heart. Benny, bunny, a son. Bunny, reproduction, avoidance of evil. Heart. When the darkness came and some people sought to endure, the spirit fled. Some of the people who were loyal to the spirit remained. Some were taken as slaves. Some lived in Europe. Some lived in the Middle East. Some lived in Asia. Egypt was invaded and had enemies from the north, okay? The sea people and so on, the, the Crete, Minos, okay? The Babylonians, the Canaanites from their right, from their east, okay? That's why the sun rises in the east, Babylon's to the east. The sun conquers the darkness to rise. And the darkness was coming at them from Babylon, which has swallowed the black-headed peoples of Sumer. This isn't about race. Not all black people are good. Not all these people are good. This is about heart and truth. The spirit fled to the southwest with the people who sought to maintain the spirit, but the other followers of their temple were dispersed. The Bible seems to cover, and I am not a Christian or a Jew or Muslim, it seems to cover the dispersal of the followers and not the angels, so to speak, right? They're angels. What is an angel? It's somebody who strives to be good. He's so good that, man, my child is an angel. He does everything right, right? It went to the Southwest, but there was also darkness there. Not every Southwestern African, you know, heart of Africa, Nigeria, Biafra, B of Ra, Ba of Ra is a good person. Ari, that went to the heart. Ari. Not Neri, Ezi Neri, is E near E, is A near E, is E near A, Ezi Neri, okay? These are the worldly kings of Ebo. The spirit chose Eri. It came down from the sky. The falcon is the fastest animal. Mont is a great strong warrior that didn't sell out to Hades like Apis. It didn't sell out. He hands the Pharaoh his sickle-shaped sword and says, this is your job. I am a true soldier and I know who I should follow. This is your job. And he comes to reap. You reap what you sow. I am a follower of God and the people that I bring to God are the people that I have conveyed the spirit to successfully. Little kids cannot give you that. Other women can't give you that. This is the spirit of an intense masculine God who is a creator. Can two women naturally create? Can two men? Ask yourself, LGBT community, am I your enemy? Or am I trying to bring you to the creator God of true love, natural, supernatural love? How many of your fellow LGBT people were turned out? How many of them are abused? How many of them are beaten? How many of them are getting raped in jail right now? Who is right, me or the rapist? What is the true direction? And all you women mad at me, what do you really desire? A man who will fulfill you and pour his heart into you with pure, intense masculinity, wisdom and love or something else, some educated fool. I give you the truth. I give you the way. I give you true life. 
They give you oppression, murder, rape, drugs, unfairness. I am the fair O. You must stand with me. You must give up everything of this world and come to me and rise with me in the spirit of the sun. You must for your families, for your kids. You must set the example. You must teach. You must convey by example. And this is why I want to start raising my voice. And when I start thinking about those evil liars, those cheaters, those deceivers who don't want to combine the truths together and piece them together, those people who have created religious systems of this world, people of this world gave you these books. These books are like the fence and you're fenced in. You need to extract the truths, the martial to order, the divine order truths and come together and make your last stand with Pharaoh or I will be the last Pharaoh. Man has to love and respect me in truth with their works. People must die if that is what must happen. We must overwhelm the enemy with the spirit of God or there will be darkness and there will be no one to protect you with the spirit of God. It would just be one liar or the other, the lesser of two evils, or you hold on to the good for the life of you, for your kids. You say, it's not because I don't love my kids that I'm doing this. It's because I do. I'm not gonna let go. I'm not gonna let go. As I pull you in, come to God, and they seek to cut the rope, your man should man up and grab the snake and chop his head off. Keep pulling. Bring them to God, by God, with heart.